three weeks ago, I found a 1915 camera that belonged to my grandfather. Um, and it's over there. I'm too lazy to grab it, though. But I also found another camera that belonged to my grandfather. <clears throat> and I did not show you guys, if I'm not mistaken. And, well, it's my grandpa's, uh, it's my grandfather's camera bag. And I want to show you what's inside it, because when I say it's everything a photographer would need, I mean everything. Well, not a modern day photographer. The only modern camera my grandfather had is this one, um, which uses SD cards, which is good, because now I have a camera that uses SD cards. But let's show you what's inside. And really, did I say it was, I was not exaggerating when I say it has everything a photographer would need? So first off, we got the camera, the Pentax K1000. Um, screw on lid, and yeah, I hate the screw on lids. Like they're not too bad, um, but they're kind of annoying. And here you can adjust it and stuff. Um, yeah, you could change the lens by doing this. So press this thing and turn this. <clears throat> Also, how you would use it is you would move this thing, like this, to move the film, and then press the button right here, like this. There's no film in here, of course, but also didn't mention it's battery-operated. Um, manual winding. Now, there's only one camera that my grandfather had that wasn't manual winding for camera film. And that's... I'm, I'm too lazy to grab it. It's the... Um, Look up the Yashica Mat 124G camera. Um, it's a two lens camera and it's, it's battery powered and has automatic winding. Oh, I love the automatic winding because it's just so simple. But this doesn't have automatic winding. What you do is you take this thing out and then wind it like this. And then put it back. And then lift it up like this, and then I got a call on my phone. After you lift it up, you'll hear a click, and this opens up, and you take the film right out of there. So, <clears throat> uh, since I haven't put any film in here because it requires batteries that I do not have, like seriously, the small little batteries have so many variants and sizes, and I'm not surprised it's the, <laughs> that it's related to COVID. If you don't get the joke, there's a bunch of COVID variants. Anywho. Kind of it, like I'm bringing up this camera because this is the this is my favorite one my grandfather had functionality wise um, that I found well as in favorite one that uses film um let me get it out of the case and there's a reason why I like it because well there's no screw on cap um it's pretty easy to use and. There's a built-in exposure meter. If you don't know what that is, it's where you would adjust the thing to make it that you would just get the right amount of exposure in the picture or else the picture wouldn't turn out. It also is not battery operated. See no battery? Like there's no battery port. Love it. Um, and also there's a safety mechanism for um I'm not dare. I'm not gonna dare to test it. I have camera film in this. Oh, I have camera film in this. I'm not gonna dare to test it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a safety mechanism so that if the kill, if the film is not wound up, you can't open it. And I love that safety mechanism because I have possibly wrecked camera film that belonged to my grandfather. Because <laughs> in the Yashica Mat 124G, it doesn't ha it doesn't have that safety mechanism. I'm just filming there that I possibly wrecked that had pictures on it. <laughs> As I said possibly had pictures on it. I don't know if it actually had pictures on it. It probably did. Nothing I can do about it now, though. It's ruined. Anyway, so I kind of got off topic a bit. There's also a flash. And the crazy thing about flashes back then was, like nowadays, it's just like this. All you would have to do is... Yes, I get the lens. It's on. It wasn't, the lens cap is on. There's no film, so it doesn't matter. You'd have to press it, and this would go off, too. But back then, it was like this. Do this to wind the film. Make sure the flash is on. And press this little button right here. 
it, it'll light up pretty soon. There we go. You got to press that at the same time you press this, like this. And that's how flashes back then worked. Um, pretty neat, huh? Now, there's also an extra lens that my grandfather had. Vivitar. Um, like, I don't know if Vivitar has anything else. Also, oh, this is Vivitar. <coughs> um, and there's, like, one other thing in this small little pocket in front. This. Now, this is for a flash. And you would put it on. And it would just make it that not as much light gets in, but it's still a flash. So I'm going to put that back in. Now we get to the part where it's everything that a, a person who um, would use cameras back then would need. <clears throat> so, it's in this back pocket. There's everything. So first off, we got this. These are all unused camera film that my grandfather had. When I first opened this up, there was actually another thing of camera film in here. But I put it in this camera, the one I showed you earlier. Which wasn't this one. It wasn't this. It wasn't the Pentax. Um, but I put that in here. There's also another unused camera film roll that I unfortunately wrecked. Because while I was trying to figure out how to put it in a uh, camera, I'd accidentally wound it back into the thing. And if you don't know, when you wind camera film back into the thing, it doesn't look like the container thing, it's unusable. And that's why, um, to tell if camera film has been used or not, well, I think it's also a safety mechanism, if camera film hasn't been used, then this thing is uh, right here is sticking out. If it's not sticking out, it's A, either been used, or B, unusable. There was also a used camera film thing in here, and it got that sent in to a uh, camera film developing place. And it'll be developed, I don't know when. There's also this, and if you have no idea what this is, um, then you clearly have no idea what it is. <laughs> like, it, it, there's nothing on it that it would give it away. Anywho, so I'm going to take it out of this thing so it's easier to see. <clears throat> it's an exposure meter. It's used to, like, if a camera didn't have a built-in exposure meter like the one I showed you earlier, and I think the, Ken the Pentax has a built-in one, I have no way to tell since I don't have batteries for it. So I think it has a built-in exposure meter. Like I have no, I, I think the Pentax has a built-in exposure meter. I'm not sure of them. I also have no idea how this exposure meter works. I need to figure that out. It's a Weston Universal exposure meter. Model 348. Serial number. I, I just got a notification on my phone. You know... It's just I usually have my phone on Do Not Disturb, but then I turned it off, like, not too long ago, because I turned it off. Um, yeah. So, let's get this back on before we look at other stuff. And, okay, I should have probably put that through first. There's a possibility that, um, my grand- okay, I'm just gonna do this off camera. I'm just wasting time. There's a possibility that my grandfather did have more cameras, and I might be able to find them. But I don't know when I'll be able to find them, and I'm not getting into why, because I don't want to get into family matters. Anywho, um, what else is there in here? Um, there's this thing, which is, in, it, it, you get brush air on it, but it's just so little air I can barely feel it, and it's just, might as well just use it like this without air. Then a strap thing. Um, two lens cleaners, that's good. Then a tripod, which, the crazy thing is, it extends out pretty far. And no, it doesn't seem that sturdy because I don't think it's that sturdy. I have a tripod right behind me, but I always have my projector on it since I don't have another tripod I would use. 
also another mount thing. Another thing for lenses. A cord. And if you don't know what this cord is for, I barely know anyways. But on a camera, on basically every camera my grandfather had. Like the Yashica one has it. This one has it. This one has it. The old one has it, and my dog is barking. Is this thing. Shaggy! He's probably barking at a cat or a person outside. Person outside. How do I know? That's his bark. Mm, might be someone here. I don't know. Um, but let me explain. You would use this and plug it into here. This thing right here. And it would be like, kind of like um, a button. You would like, you could be like far away. Have something similar, but it's Bluetooth for my phone. Um, but yeah, I still haven't really figured out what that is. Now this I assume is something like to sticky press. And this seems like a wrench or something, but it's a, I think it's a mount. Um, and then this. I showcased this in one of my videos before. And in the video that I showcased it in, I was using it incorrectly. You're supposed to do it like this. Wind it up. Then screw it onto the camera. Instead, it was, so you were supposed to have it off, wind it up. Um, and then you screw it onto the camera, and then when you're ready, simply turn it on. Nowadays, cameras have built-in timers, which is great, but it's just, it's kind of nice to look on a relic of the past. Oh, by the way, um, For different cameras, a self-timer might work differently. Because in this camera, um, the wine, or the thingamabob only got to about here before it stopped. Because, like, what it does is... Let me show you. Keep watching. It extends down, or it extends out, and then once it hits the button, it acts like once it hits the bottom of the button or whatever, it activates. And bottom of the button can be different, um, different for cameras. The Pentax, you clearly saw that it went all the way to here. Um, I, I don't know if you did actually, but it went all the way to here when it stopped. But for the the one I showed you here, it went to about here. Because it was different. Anywho, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try and quiet this while I'm letting it go back. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. And there's a bunch of camera stuff I need to put back. See ya.